this slide will give uh, everybody the overview of the puzzle what I'm going to show today. So about me, uh, my name is Krishna Rachakonda. Uh, I've been um, uh, a contributor in the Power Apps and Power Automate uh, community forums. Um, I'm a dual super user uh, in both the communities. Uh, and uh, early this year, I received uh, Microsoft MVP uh, award as well uh, the, for the program. And I do occasionally create some videos of my work uh, in the YouTube and some of the business cases which I generally come across and uh, automate with the Power Apps and Power Automate. So you can follow my YouTube channel there and you can also reach out to me with uh, Twitter and uh, LinkedIn. So I'll start uh, playing a small game, um, uh, how we can play with this puzzle game and then uh, I'll go into the details. So I built this um, uh, this number puzzle. I used when I was a kid. I used to play this with a small plastic board with all these numbers around, and we used to, we need to shuffle around and uh, to make them in a particular order. So I automated that puzzle uh, with the Power Apps. It doesn't use Power Automate or any other um, other uh, other components in the Power Platform. So if you see, there are three different types of puzzles. Three by three, it's all metrics. Uh, how many? I mean, how deep you want to go? Uh, how how many numbers you want to have in your puzzle? And also the challenge level. Challenge level basically gives you the uh, unlimited number of moves. Uh, um, and also, I did not restrict on the time, only the moves. Uh, I gave that and uh, let's see the three by three and uh, let's give the free uh, free style. And I enter my name here. It will give us uh, the nine numbers. Um, and uh, once we click on start button, it enables uh, the numbers and we can you can see the time is also clicking uh, started and one as soon as I click on any number, the number of moves starts. So if I click, uh, all I need to do is uh, rearrange all these numbers uh, in a particular order, like one to nine. So all I need to do is just shuffle these numbers uh, like this, and I need to uh, move the numbers in a particular order. OK, like this. So um, for now, like I will not play anymore. Uh, we'll go back to the instructions and here if we want to see the instruction, how uh, uh, different instructions uh, we can see that here. And also if you are playing the uh, this particular uh, game in a mobile device, we can, I'm storing all the uh, history of the uh, wins as well as we can also see uh, how what's your uh, speed and also the number of moves as well because I'm showing in the browser I don't have any of the previous history but if you play uh, I'm using the half low offline capabilities of the power apps so now actually uh, I presented this app how I built uh, in multiple conferences where uh, to explain the kids basically I presented in uh, power apps for kids in Rory's uh, one of the meeting as well um, and recently in the Spanish uh, summit as well. Uh, so to explain that, I created a separate power app. Uh, so if we go there, uh, this is uh, the the additional power app I created to explain uh, for the kids. So uh, to explain the Power App Studio and the Power FX uh, components. So in this um, um, puzzle, I build, uh, I use different. Uh, uh, power effects functions like the images the i mean the components like images collection sequence all of that shuffle gallery all of that so to explain each of them again for example if we go to sequence uh, i created a, a screen here if we enter a number like for example i want to build a three by three puzzle so i'll enter nine and click on collection collection uh, and also if I see at the screen on, on the bottom we can see the function the power effects function what we used uh, to create the numbers we don't need to hard code these numbers we can use the uh, function called sequence 
So I use that and also to shuffle these numbers. I use the function called shuffle in the power effects. So with the, um, with shuffle, if I click on it, I can shuffle as many times as I want. So we can shuffle all these numbers and after that, um, coming back again, uh, I placed all these uh, numbers in a gallery. Uh, so just like these these galleries, uh, how we can use the galleries, we, uh, we can place the numbers as well. So different component, I mean different power effects functions, I use the patch function, count rows, lookup, variables, timer, all of that within this puzzle. And uh, the, the steps I use to build the app are six steps. I add uh, like first we need to, it, this is, these steps are for building a three by three metrics. So we need uh, nine numbers. So add nine numbers to the gallery and the, fill the background to the numbers and hide the number nine because we need to have a, an empty spot on the puzzle. So the last number, which is nine, I'm hiding. If it is a four by four, it will be 16. Uh, after I generate the numbers and adding it to gallery, I'm ad also adding another uh, for each cell. I'm adding index values to each cell so that I know which uh, number is staying in which uh, location in the gallery. And then uh, I'm swapping the numbers and also we need to handle some unreasonable moves as well. I'll explain you that in a bit. And then check. Uh, uh, finally, I'm checking for the puzzle, uh, puzzle completion. So to check all these six numbers again, I built a few other screens as well. Uh, let's go uh, and build. I already built nine numbers here. So let's go to the next screen. So once I add it, I need to go back here. Let me add, re-add. Nine, clear, collection, and then with the shuffle and then fast. I'm not using fast 10 numbers. Previously, I thought of using it, but I did not update this particular screen. But um, and then once we go there, uh, I added a gallery onto the screen. Uh, the first step is add numbers to the gallery and then fill the background with, uh, to the gal uh, each of the numbers. Uh, the, every number is a button um, so that when we click on it, we can write some functions to do different operations. So in the gallery, I placed a button and I gave the number as a label to that. And I gave the buttons label uh, and then uh, I hide the number nine. So if you see here, the number nine is here. I click on uh, populate the gallery. It, it hides the number nine. So I'm uh, in the visible property. I put this. And then now I add the index values for each of these uh, numbers. Uh, so you can see the index numbers and then swapping the numbers and handling unreasonable uh, reasonable, uh, moves. Swapping numbers means when you want to swap two numbers, then basically I took like a one intermediate number like 99 or something. Um, you know, like how to swap numbers, like take the value, store it in a third variable and then uh, store the second variable into the first one and then like uh, like that I, I was swapping the numbers and unreasonable moves means for example if you see here when I click on three three should come only here it should not go to the top and also five should not uh, five should not come to the diagonally uh, to the position of five this particular place so handling those moves I handled that as well and finally checking for the puzzle uh, completion uh, so what I'm doing is I'm reading all the values from the gallery and making uh, if all the numbers are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like if then if they are in the particular order, I'm comparing it to like a string comparison. And then if it completes, uh, then the puzzle gets complete and you will see some picture in that. So overall, like um, I built this app almost like a year ago, but I wanted to enroll in the demo uh, extravagant job, so I enrolled it to. But I, uh, this is really helpful for anybody who really starts the power apps. Um, if they are a new beginner for a power app, this this, uh, this uh, building some apps will give you more command on the power FX functions and different components in the power apps. So I built that time uh, almost a year ago, so thought of sharing with everybody. And uh, this took uh, for me, I 
I initially started uh, like it took me like a couple of weekends uh, because I was changing the um, layouts and other things. So this is all about the puzzle. That's all I have taught. That's fantastic. I love how your app breaks down the different steps in there and then you could I can totally see how in design mode you could open that up and then say, oh, look, here's the code that did that and connect the dots the way you have your steps. Awesome, man. This is great. My son's been asking me about how to make more games and power apps. I think this might be a really good one for him to start with. Really cool. Thanks for sharing it. Did you make all those graphics yourself too? Uh, no, I picked up uh, from some websites and uh, I used the image control to put uh, um, the background of this puzzle is a single image. I just put it applied as a background and this is just a GIF file. Uh, I got everything from the web. Well, you're really good at combining things. That is really cool. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you very much.